Hello everyone. In this session, I am going to demonstrate you the general features and attachments on pubis. This is the left hip bone in anatomical position. The pubis forms the antero-inferior part of the hip bone. It forms the anterior one-fifth of acetabulum and the anterior boundary of obturator foramen. The pubis has a body anteriorly. This is the body. And there are two rami, superior ramus which pass superolaterally and inferior ramus which pass inferolaterally. Now coming to the features on the body, the superior border of the body is known as pubic crest. This is pubic crest, which ends laterally in a tubercle. This tubercle is known as pubic tubercle. There are three surfaces on the body of pubis. This is the anterior surface, which faces downwards and forwards. This is posterior surface of the body which faces upwards and backwards and this is the medial or symphysial surface which will articulate with the opposite pubis and forms pubic symphysis. The superior ramus which passes superolaterally it also has three borders, three surfaces. This is the superior border which is also known as pectineal line or pectinate line. It starts from just behind pubic tubercle and ends at the posterior end of iliopubic eminence. This eminence is iliopubic eminence. So this is the pectinate line or superior border. Then there is an anterior border which extends from pubic tubercle up to acetabular notch. This anterior border is also known as obturator crest. And the third border is the inferior border, which forms the anterior margin of obturator foramen. So this is the inferior border. The three surfaces are, one, the pectineal surface, which is a triangular surface between pubic tubercle and the iliopubic eminence. This is pectineal surface or superior surface. Then this is the posterior or pelvic surface between superior and inferior borders. And there is an anterior surface or obturator surface between anterior border and inferior border. This surface has a groove. This groove is known as obturator groove. The obturator groove transmits obturator nerve and vessels out of the pelvis. Coming to the inferior ramus, the inferior ramus of pubis meets with the ramus of ischium. Together, this bone is known as conjoint ischiopubic rami. So this is conjoint ischiopubic rami. So these are the general features of pubis. Now coming to attachments. The pubic tubercle use attachment to the medial end of inguinal ligament. We have seen in the previous video the inguinal ligament is attached between anterior superior iliac spine and pubic tubercle. The pubic tubercle also gives attachment to some part of cremaster muscle. The pubic tubercle is crossed by spermatic cord in the males. The pubic crest, its medial part is crossed by the medial head of rectus abdominis muscle. The lateral part of the pubic crest gives origin to the lateral head of rectus abdominis muscle and pyramidalis muscle. The anterior surface of the body of pubis gives attachment to mainly the adductor muscles in the medial compartment of thigh. In the upper part, the angle between the pubic crest and the margin of the pubic symphysis 
This gives origin to adductor longus muscle. Near the margin of the pubic symphysis and the inferior ramus gives origin to gracilis muscle. Lateral to gracilis, there is origin of adductor brevis muscle. And near the margin of obturator foramen, all around the margin of obturator foramen, this is the origin of obturator externus muscle. Now coming to the posterior or pelvic surface of the body, medially, there is attachment of puboprosthetic ligament. In the middle, there is origin of levator ani muscle. And near the margin of obturator foramen, this is the origin of obturator internus muscle. Coming to the superior ramus, the pectinate line gives attachment to one conjoint tendon at the medial end of the pectinate line and in just in front of it there is attachment of lacunar ligament. So lacunar ligament, conjoint tendon, the conjoint tendon is actually the fusion of the lowest aponeurotic fibers of internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscles. The whole length of the pectineal line gives attachment to pectinate ligament. Also, the pectineous muscle arises from the pectineal line and the fascia covering pectineus also is attached to the pectineal line. The pectineal surface, which is a triangular superior surface of the superior ramus, gives origin to pectineous muscle. The pelvic surface is crossed by the vas deferens in the male and the round ligament of uterus in the female. Coming to the inferior ramus, the inferior ramus of pubis unites with the ramus of ischium and forms a conjoint ischiopubic rami. The attachments of which will be demonstrated in the last session along with the ischium. Thank you.